Kevin in 29th off the start of the grid. Oh, there's a big, very big crash. <laughs> oh, Madden's in the middle of the track. From that crash, he's took three positions from that. Now we can see Chrono. Looks like he's gonna... Oh, he's been rear-ended. Oh, no. Oh, that's unfortunate. And he's been dive bombed. It looks like by MX. Oh! Now we come down to the troops. Like into and Chrono are gonna go at it here. Both in the coming in the rain. Not an easy car to drive. Uh, let's see. Looks like they both got the line correct. Coming down into the harder section. They've go, both got the racing line curb. Both gonna go too wide into the first thing. Oh, Chrono's gonna break there. Coming down. They're fully sending it through here. Chrono slides a tiny bit, that's unfortunate. But he's got the overspeed on the straight. Is he gonna be able to do it? No, he breaks. Oh, tiny bit of contact on the rear. But it looks like he's gonna be able to keep it. So he could keep up the speed to catch into here. Oh, and now he's got the speed from the the bumps on the road. And looks like he's going to be able to cover the inside. Maybe get a position on Fosto too. Oh, no. Oh, he's sliding a bit. Opens the gap for into. Oh, what a cutback. Here we go. Chrono again. Coming in. Looks like he's going to have a battle with TXM. One very easy car to drive, one very hard car to drive. He's taken the risky line. He's gonna perfect this corner by going right up next to the apex. Around. Looks like he's gonna have the overspeed on TXM, so he's gonna stay behind him. Looks like he's gonna be able to get the inside line. Tiny bit of lag contact there, but not much you can really do there. Coming down to the Hairpin, late braking zone, TXM's gonna possibly get the inside, yeah, but Chrono's gonna have the overspeed to get the inside of the next pop, and take the position. Oh, Chrono's sliding, now he's just let TXM open the gap once again, and coming down into the tight section before the lap, oh, and there's contact. Doesn't look like a full hit, looks like a bit of lag there. Uh, but he has waited, respect to him for that. Oh, into sliding, lost two positions on TXM and Chrono. Chrono once again going for the very risky line of going over them bumps. TXM slides it, means Chrono's gonna get the inside and have the corner. Right, now we're going to Foxy. Looks like he's got the better position on him from Kevin. But Kevin's gonna get the mid drive and keep his speed to cover the inside for the next corner. Looks like they're gonna go. Oh, looks like they're gonna go too wide, but looks like Foxy's gonna get the curbs of the exit of the corner. Oh, Kevin's gone a bit wide, but Foxy's slipped a bit. Oh, he's got the inside line. Oh, and he's hit the apex, but he's still got the line. Going back to Chrono and TXM. See what they can pull off. Looks like Chrono's gonna have the overspeed on the left side to be able to get the inside for the next corner. He's gonna hold it a bit of sliding, but TXM's gonna go back with the speed of the acceleration on the cipher. And then we switch to Toasty. Look at Toasty's gonna get the inside of the hairpin on Chrono. But therefore, we know Chrono's gonna have the overspeed, so he's gonna take the inside of there and grab that position. Coming into the next corner. Looks like Toasty's gonna go a tiny bit wide, but Chrono's sliding a tiny bit, so he's gonna lose time on that, and that means Toasty's gonna grab that from him. Now we got Troll. 
Down for the inside in the Komodo, very risky with this car, hard car to drive. Uh, looks like he's gonna try cover up the inside, and he's done that. But it looks like that Cypher's got way more traction in the rain, especially on this track. Oh, unfortunate spin by Troll. Axing hit stream and sing it. Oh, very unfortunate. Looks like he's hit the bumps there and spun. Nothing he can really do there. Once the car spins, you ain't getting it back unless you're godly the majority of the time. Coming into Devil Core. Takes the first one nicely, then hits the second one. Very unfortunate. Wasn't a nice one either, he's gonna have to respawn after that one. Coming in the Madden. Find a bit of contact on the rear on that Cypher. Oh, and the Cypher's gone. And very unfortunate there as well. As Madden slides on the corner that holds it. Coming into Fox. Looks like he's gonna grab the inside here. Oh, he might be able to grab the inside of Into 2. Darkbot's gonna try to get one back because he's not having it. And there's a very bad lag contact part there. Dark blood, here we go. Oh, and John's off. Very unfortunate, John hitting that. In the retro, it is a very hard track with these bumps. Coming into Toasty. Oh, it looks like he's hit that final chicane. I will say, a lot of people have hit that. It's not very nice. Coming back to Toasty through the section. Into's trying to go for one on the outside. Tries holding it, but no, not enough room. And they collide. Looks like whoever's in that red car and the yellow one are going to join that on them positions. Losing three positions from that incident. Going back to Troll. He has done what the Komodo does best. And he's hit a curb and launched. Coming into Fosto, looks like he's took the corner but because the rain he's sliding and it's not ended well. Looking like he's going to lose a position off that. Coming into Rescue with... Or oh, a very unfortunate crash because the Comet's very hard to drive and slides it. In fact, Toasty's just witnessed someone be killed by the chicane. And Kevin's been hit by the chicane as well. Very unfortunate. Coming into Devil. Looks like, or oh, not a very good uh, entry to say the least on that one, but that looked more like a racing incident to be honest. Coming down from the maneuvers, let's see what we got. Devil Core cutting in the inside, that looks like one. It looks like two positions right there. Coming down to the next hairpin, it's gonna cut again. That means three positions. He's gonna then get the inside of the right hander coming down, and he's gonna dive into it to get the fourth. And will he be able to get the. I don't think he's gonna be able to get the up one, but he got four positions off that. Very good racing. Krona's going to do what he does best and send it in this section of TXM. Coming into the corner, perfectly angled in. But accidentally hits TXM for a lag spike and Toasty goes right through that gap. That's what you call threading the needle. <laughs> GG to Toasty there. Very good racing. Coming down to rescue, looks like... He's going to... Coming down to lap 12. Coming down to Foster back again. Looks like he's having a freeway battle here. Someone goes wide, he's going to be able to get the inside of the corner and coming down to the next one. And coming down to Devil's favorite part because he knows how to take this hairpin as we've seen from the last video. And he protects the outside through to the inside. What a maneuver. And then we have Chrono at the very end here. Going for a wonderful cutback. I would give him a 10 out of 10 for that. And Fostel getting that last position.